lovely people out there. This is Kevin from CC Pipe here, where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives. And this video will be a follow up to my form fields video and we'll take a look at some more advanced form field features in Acrobat. Now, there's plenty you can do and I'm no Acrobat expert, but I wanted to show you some things and give you an idea of what's in there. That said, let's jump over to Acrobat and take a look at four features I picked out that I thought were interesting. And here's where we left off in part one. Also, if you haven't watched part one yet, you can find that on screen now. But to get us started, we first need the prepare form tools and you'll find it under tools down here. And uh, by the way, I'm using the old Acrobat layout because the new one was just making me frustrated. But anyway, number one, when you fill out a form, it's nice to use tabs to jump between fields, right? So when making the form, you should also make sure the tab order is logical. In Acrobat, you just move list items over here to change the tab order. And you can also go to the options and have it show you the tab numbers. So if I move one item here, you can see the number changes in the bottom left corner right here. And since you can also adjust tab order in InDesign, I thought I'd show you that too. So let's jump over there for a moment. And here we simply go to the object menu then to interactive and then to set tab order. And in here you can select the item and move it up or down. Great, let's head back to Acrobat. Number two, sometimes you might want to limit how many characters you can put into a field and this can easily be done. Just right click on the item in the list you want to edit and then choose properties. Then we head over to the options tab and at the bottom here we can enable limit characters and write in a number. So to demonstrate, if I write in 10, then close this down, then we need to press preview up here, and then we can start typing something in, and we should see it doesn't allow more than 10 characters. Next feature, number three, if we go back to the properties, but this time for the zip code field, you can see under the same tab, there's also something called comb. It's grayed out right now, but should become available if we turn off check spelling and uh, we'll turn it on and type in a number and you see what happens. It distributes the characters across the field in boxes, making it easy for the user to know how many characters are expected. So if we close this and we can try it out, press the preview again, and it will only allow five characters and it spreads them out in the comb. Nice. Feature number four. In the zip code example that I just showed, another thing that might be nice is to only allow numbers. And this can also easily be done. Simply go back to the properties and find the format tab. And here in the list, we can select the data format we want the field to have, in this case, numbers. And there are options for decimals. We don't want any. And there are also options for separators, units, and etc. But in this case, we won't be needing any of that. Now, if you close and try and type in text, see, it doesn't work and it only accepts numbers and no decimals, exactly what we wanted. Great. There are several other formats for dates and percentages and so forth, but most should probably be pretty self-explanatory. However, there is one I thought we could take a look at and for that, we'll use the phone number. So we start with properties and then format and then we choose special. And in here, there are some pre-made options, but we can also make our own using the arbitrary mask. And to use this, we have to know some syntax. And I'll put on screen the info I found from Adobe Pages. This was brand new to me too. And uh, the formatting for the telephone number I want is this. So based on the info here, we can type the first part, just uh, zero in parentheses, and a space, and then we use the number nine to indicate any digit. So the rest would be two nines, and then a space, and then three nines, and another space, and four nines. So let's see if that worked. Press preview, and then I'll type in nine different numbers, and we get the formatting we wanted. Pretty cool. 
And that was all the features I wanted to show, but there's obviously more in here to explore. Under properties, you can set up validations to supposedly check the field entry is correct, and you can utilize scripting, and you can also calculate using field data. I haven't really explored everything yet, and I'm not big on scripting, but at least you'll know it's in there. So, that was all for this time. Hope you got a glimpse into how much more can be done in Acrobat with forms. And thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video right here on CC Pipe.